Hi, in this program, we're going to give you some insight into what a race meeting is all about and explain the different kind of races. The race courses are right at the heart of community. This is where people experience the fun and excitement of a little flutter and benefit from all the hard work and dedication of the trainers, jockeys, stable hands and everyone who works in the horse racing business. A race meeting is one of the few events where you can go on your own, with friends or bring the whole family. There are 26 courses all over the country and no two race courses are the same. Each one has its own style and character. Horse Racing Ireland has a calendar of organised events running throughout the whole racing season and you can find all the details right here on the website. How could you beat being a Ballybrit race course in the beautiful county of Galway on a sunny summer's day? with a nice cool drink in your hand and a potential winner on your card. Or during the Christmas break, Leopardstown in Dublin, watching your winner pass the post from the shelter of the stands. Well, trainers have their preferred courses, but did you know that some horses do too? I'm sure you've heard of the saying, horses for courses. Well, that's true. One course could be suitable to a horse because it's an open expanse with a wide track while another may like a course to be more enclosed and compact, or maybe the track runs from left to right or the other way around. These things can make a difference to the horses. In flat racing, as the name implies, there are no jumps. Flat races run over distances ranging between five eighths of a mile to two and a half miles. That's from five to 20 furlongs. A furlong is a funny old word that's specific to horse racing. It means one eighth of a mile or 200 meters. The flat season begins in mid-March and ends in mid-November and flat racing horses mature quickly and start their career as two or three year olds. There are a few different types of flat races. The flat maiden is for horses that so far haven't won a race. They're usually confined to a particular age group. So there would be a two year old maiden race, a three and four year old and older again. The flat handicap race is designed to give all horses an equal chance of winning. After running three races, a horse is assessed by an official handicapper who, having taken everything into consideration, will give the horse a rating on a scale somewhere between 47 and 120. The better class horses are rated in the higher end of the scale and they'll be handicapped, which means they'll have to carry more weight to even things up and make for a more exciting race. If the handicapper gets it just right, then every horse in the race has an equal chance of winning. The conditions race is confined to horses which have been winners of one race, two races, winners of races with a certain value, or races from a certain date. Previous winners of conditions races will generally have to carry extra weight. Listed races are more valuable and they'll attract a better class of horse. On the rating scale of 47 to 120, horses in this race will usually be above 90. The next level up is a group three race, which is slightly above a listed race with horses generally being rated around 100. A group two race will be for horses rated between 100 and 115 but the most prestigious race is the group one. This race is very valuable and normally if the winners of these races are colts or boys, they'll become stallions at the end of their career, or if they're fillies or girls, they become very valuable brood mares. There are 12 group one races in Ireland and five of these are called classic races. The five classic races are the 2,000 Guineas, the 1,000 Guineas, the Derby, the Oaks and the St. Ledger. All these races are held at the Curra Racecourse, which is known as the home of the classics. Phillies, the girls, are allowed to run in all five classic races, but the Colts, the boys, are only eligible for three, the 2,000 Guineas, the Derby and the St. Ledger. It is every trainer's dream to win a Group 1 Classic. National Hunt is also called Jump Racing. All jump races are contested over a distance of at least two miles, and the horses have to jump obstacles. Unlike flat racing, where horses start from stalls, in National Hunt races, the start is from a tape barrier. Horses need to be mature if they're to go jump racing, and they're usually four to five-year-olds. Some flat horses also run in jump races when they get older. The jump racing season is all year round, but the main season is from November to the end of April. In jump racing, there are three different types of race. Steeplechase, hurdle and point to point. The name steeplechase came about when two gambling men wanted to settle a bet about which of their horses was the fastest. 
In 1752, in County Cork, they organised a race across country between the steeples of two churches, one in Buttevant and the other St Mary's in Donorail. This is where the name comes from. And sometimes we drop the steeple and just call it a chase. The steeple chase is mostly run over fences, which are around four foot six inches in height and between three and four foot wide, and sometimes water too. The most famous steeplechase, of course, is the Grand National Run at Aintree in England. The Irish Grand National is run every Easter at Fairy House in County Meath. The hurdle race is run over obstacles of about three foot one inch high. And yes, you've guessed, they're called hurdles. Point to point is racing at its most rustic. This is where the horses are running across country through designated farmlands over natural fences and sometimes uncharted ground. It happens in the spring and the autumn, and this circuit is regarded as a nursery for young jump horses, and many champion jumpers have come from this circuit. For example, Best Mate, War of Attrition, Beef or Salmon, and Denman. The bumper race is for horses beginning their national hunt career and are ridden by amateur jockeys. These horses are only allowed to run in a maximum of six races, but if they win, then they can run in a winner's bumper race. The maiden hurdle is for horses who have never won a hurdle race or a steeplechase. The other categories in jump racing are beginner steeplechase, novice, handicap, conditions and listed. These all use the same principles as those in flat racing. So there's a place for every horse, whether starting off or at the peak of its career. So I hope this helps you. And remember, any additional information you may need is right here on the Go Racing website. Enjoy your racing. Till the next time.